Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. So in today's video we visited the Harry Potter Studios in Watford for Hogwarts in the Snow and some afternoon tea and after a really exhausting time travelling we finally made it with 10 minutes to spare. So enjoy! We made it! 10 minutes to spare we actually made it so it's all Christmassy. We've never been at Christmas before so this is going to be exciting. Oh I can't wait. The first Christmassy decor that we saw was in the Great Hall and when I say this was so beautifully decorated it was so magical to see. There was Christmas trees, there was wreaths and right at the end you'll see that there was the Yule Ball kind of decorations and everything and it was just so magical to see. This is the Yule Ball decorations up close and when I say it was so truly magical to see the detailing that goes into every piece at the Harry Potter studios, it was phenomenal. I think this was my favourite bit. This is also one of my favourite areas to see the detailings on the potion bottles, the labels and even the kind of moving stirrers in the pots just makes this bit truly magical. The Gryffindor common room was decorated in Christmas decorations and I just love this area. They even had the Harry and Ron jumpers which are my personal favourite jumpers. I think they're so adorable. At Hagrid's heart, I did get a little bit emotional to see Robbie Coltrane's kind of outfit and his little home, you know, passing this year. It was really sad to see, but still really, really magical. The Forbidden Forest. Now this area is so cool to go into, but I will say that if you don't like spiders, there is a turn off area so you don't have to walk through Aragog and his little friends, but 
that is coming up in a minute so if you don't like spiders i would skip maybe a minute um so that you don't see them This part by the Hogwarts Express was actually really cool. They were free, colour your own Christmas cards and they were just free to take. So we took three home so I could give one to my mum, one for me and one for Dan. This part in the back lot was new and it was really cool. It was the Weasley house, um, the burrow, and I love this bit. And then also we were able to go into the Dursley's house and see the cupboard under the stairs, see all the flying um, letters going into the living room. And there is a cheeky little bit in the dining area, which was my favorite bit to see because it's a really funny part of the film. And when you see it, you'll know why. The next part was new for us, we'd never seen this before and it's the Herbology Greenhouse and this part was my favourite because I actually got to pull out a mandrake and it was just so cool to do. We're now heading into the makeup and props department and this bit is so cool to see just the little detailings they put on all the characters and all the kind of you know like trolls and the plants and just to see all the little kind of painting details and stuff this is a really cool area. Just a heads up, there is another Aragog coming up, so you might want to skip around about 30 seconds and you should be good to go. Mm -hmm. 
Gringotts Bank, in my opinion, is one of the most beautiful areas of Harry Potter. The way that they have done this and the such detailing on every piece, the chandeliers, the marble work, it's just so truly beautiful. This has got to be one of my most favourite, favourite areas. Next we headed into the vault area which is the kind of bit below Gringotts and there is a bit coming up in a minute which I'm not going to give away but it is so cool and just amazing and I probably stand there for about a good 5 to 10 minutes watching it over and over again it is such a cool piece. Now we're heading into Diagon Alley and I just love this place. I just wish that the shops were real so you could go in and like get your wand and your owl because that would just be awesome. And yes, they did decorate it in beautiful, beautiful snow. Everything was covered, the roof, all the like little owls. It was just so beautiful. Now for the finale of the tour and it's just so beautiful. It is a model scale of the castle and you get to go around the whole area of it and it goes from daytime to nighttime and it was also covered in snow and it is just so, so, so beautiful to see it all covered in snow. Normally we just see it as the Hogwarts castle. To see it decorated, I absolutely loved it. As you exit you go into the shop and yes I could have spent an absolute fortune in here there was so much I could have taken and yes there was a mini honey jukes and I could have bought everything after our tour had finished we ended up going to our afternoon tea and it was so worth the money it was two people for 60 pound and the food was phenomenal the savouries, the sandwiches, the treats, it was all just amazing. And that's our day at the Harry Potter Studios. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.